Welcome to this video about iFonti to Profile Unity migration. Liquidware has developed a migration tool to convert iFonti building blocks to Profile Unity format. It's just a few simple steps. Now, step one is export the access controls. Step two is import Liquidware filters. And step three is the final migration. So we finally migrate to JSON format, which we can import in the Profi Unity Management Console. The export consists of application shortcuts, global items, printer mappings, etc. So most of the stuff from your Ivanti Workspace Control Management Console is converted into Profi Unity. Now for this demo video, I do have an empty management console for Profi Unity. No configurations, no filters or whatsoever. I'm just creating a empty configuration. And let's call it migration import. We do not need to fill in any other details. Let's put in some commands. Conversion, Ivanti workspace control to Liquidware Profunity. And there we go. So no red bullets, everything is empty. Now for this conversion, we have created a building block from a REST Ivanti console. In this case, it's a full building block, which we are going to import in the conversion tool. And we start uh, with step one, which is exporting the access controls. This technically means that we exporting all the access controls used in the building block to the filters in the Profunity Management Console. That is required because then we can create filters, we can create IDs for the filters and give it back to the migration tool. So in the final step, we know what to attach to what filter. So as you can see, we read the building block this is the technical stuff on the back end, but basically you just need to wait on the conversion console. The file is going to be downloaded in the downloads folder through the browser download option. So when it's finished, you can see the migration ID. This is important because you need to find the right file later. You click download and the file is downloaded to the downloads folder. Now this is JSON format, so that means we can go to the next step, which is step two, importing the access control list into the Liquidware Management Console. So there's a short explanation. The GUID is changed in the description. So it tells you now to import the ACL file with the GUID into the Profi Unity Management Console. So we switch back to the Prof Unity Management Console. We go to Filter Management and we use the lightning arrow at the, at the right top corner and select Import. Now we just need to point to the ACL file and all the filters are imported into Prof Unity. So because it's imported, Prof Unity adds internal IDs to the filters. So that means it's now a real full-blown Profunity filter. We export all the filters again from the Profunity Management Console and we give it back to the migration tool. So the migration tool knows this Liquidware IDs I need to attach to these configurations in the JSONs for the specific modules. So there we go. We can click on Convert. And now we can see module by module is being converted into JSON files. As a last step, we can click download and you will get a new zip file with an ID, which we can open and see the contents. Now, like I said, for all the modules we convert, we create a separate JSON file and we can import that into Liquidware.
Now there are some other folders as well because Ivanti has the option to use custom icons. We also export all the icon files. Uh, the custom scripts that are used are exported into a subfolder. So we have everything we need to start the migration. Now let's go back to the management console and open the configuration. So let's first import applications. Now, as you can see, we imported applications, which is the application module of RES, but now we are importing it and putting it into the shortcuts module, the file associations module, and the registry module. Now, when we check the file associations as an example, we can see all the file associations are there, but there are no filters attached. So when we click update, Everything is attached in the backend. So now check file associations again. Now the filters are attached to the configuration. So let's import some other modules. There we go, user defined scripts. We can import drive mappings. We can import environment variables. Next one is folder redirection, global items. That is basically everything not related to applications. Printers, and last but not least, security items. So that's it, ready to roll. Everything is converted into ProfiUnity. And we were able to deploy the file or make a report of the configuration. Okay, so we finished the migration. If you have any questions about this, please ask me or my sales colleagues. And thank you for watching.